The really important point to make in any answer is that there are very few decisions that are made in business that are not based on financial data and information. So the finance function or the finance department informs decision making. Financial data helps managers at all levels, so that could be middle managers or senior managers, to make lots of decisions, so to make tactical and strategic decisions. The owners and managers may come up with great ideas to cut costs and boost sales and launch products, but the finance department helps them to see whether their ideas will work. The data and information the finance department provides needs to be accurate and up-to-date, relevant and timely. Timely means it arrives with the manager who needs it at the right time, whereas up-to-date means it is the latest figures and information. So the phrase really to learn is that the finance department supports or helps managers at all levels to make tactical and strategic decisions. When you are evaluating the importance of the finance department, you have to remember that they help organisations meet their objectives, be, them, be those short, medium or long term. Here's some verbs on this slide to help you. The finance department supports other areas. It calculates possible sales, potential profit margins, etc, etc. It monitors financial activity and perhaps most importantly, it monitors and controls the budgets of all the departments in a company or a business. Marketing departments may have great ideas, but unless they've got the money in the budget to, to implement these ideas, they're no use at all. The finance department can do sales and profit forecasts. To do this, they often use spreadsheet models to forecast sales, revenue and profit. If the marketing department has a fantastic project, but there's not enough capital in the company to launch this new product, say, or start this advertising campaign, the finance department will help and look at ways of raising finance. So what you have to say, really, is that the finance division, the finance function, the finance department, monitors financial activity, produces sales, revenue and profit forecasts, uh, it predicts sales, it supports other departments, and it looks at ways of raising finance and controls and calculates departmental budgets. Every department has to have a budget. This means that the work it does is as important as any other department. It provides all kinds of financial data and information about cash flow, which is important because suppliers and staff and other stakeholders have to be paid. It looks at sales and revenue. It works out and calculates profit margins of products and services. It can help departments calculate the break-even point. So the break-even point or break-even analysis is when you calculate the volume of sales you need to achieve to cover your costs. How many things do you have to sell to cover your costs? It can help departments look at ways of lowering costs by doing financial analysis. It can help calculate the average rate of return, which shows how useful a particular investment might be. So we're thinking of buying a machine for £200,000. We can get the help of the, financial, uh, the finance department to help us calculate the AIR, the ARR to see if it's going to be a worthwhile investment. And as I said earlier, the finance department can calculate financial models. A model is a prediction of what might happen in the future based on certain factors. So it's a really vital role that it plays. So once again, by providing financial data, the finance department can support the marketing departments, the marketing activities, human resources and operations. Those departments cannot run without the finance department. The finance department can evaluate or monitor the effect and the impact of, for example, changing your prices. So if you put the price of something up, it can 
monitor and calculate the effect of that. As I said before, it can help raise finance, loans, overdrafts, sale of assets, laptops, CC, do you remember that? It can help answer what if questions. What if we spend £200,000 on radio advertising? What if we stop producing that product? What if we change suppliers? Now that's important because the finance department can help calculate potential sales, well not potential sales, but potential profit margins if you change your suppliers, raise or lower the price. It can look at the effect of, tra uh, of changing your transport costs. So what happens if we um, move our factory closer to this particular office? What if we move our design department closer to the production department? because you might have offices in different countries, for example. It can help calculate delivery costs. It can run financial models for different types of delivery. Should we use the Royal Mail? Should we use a courier? It does so many things. We end now by, in the same way as we started, all decisions ultimately are informed by financial data and information. I can't think really of any that aren't. So when you're evaluating the importance of the finance, finance department, I think you're going to have to say that it plays a vital role in supporting all other departments and helps managers at all levels make tactical and strategic decisions. I'm going to end with just a few comments based on some essays I've read recently. Some people talked about conducting market research and finding out how much customers would be prepared to pay for a new product. The finance department would not conduct that market research. That would be done by the marketing department. All the financial department, I say all, the financial department would then take the results of market research, be it primary or secondary, and then look at the impact of different types of pricing, different types of product, different types of promotion. Do you remember the marketing mix? The finance department wouldn't be going out in the streets giving people surveys, asking them how much they pay for a pen. The marketing department would do that, but the finance, the finance function would then work out the impact of these various prices on sales, revenue, um, break-even points, etc., etc. Again, the finance department would help the human resources department come up with staffing solutions. But they wouldn't start hiring and firing people, they just provide data to inform good, solid decisions in business.